Thanks for having me. Welcome to another episode of Agenda, ang programa ng podcast ng mga kapitulasyon tungkol sa mga kandidato sa darating na halalan at handog yan sa inyo ng Talk TV Global, the first global internet TV of the North. At live nga tayo ngayon sa talktvglobal.com slash live. So uh, mga viewers, this afternoon, makakasama ko ang abogadong barangay captain ng Malindong Binmalay na tumatakbo bilang board member ng 2nd District ng Pangasinan. Samahan niyo akong kilapisin ang kanyang tunay na agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Attorney Arsenio Merera. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Agenda of Talk TV Global. So, how are you, sir? I'm fine. Okay, sir. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, perhaps everyone's asking, ano, uh, bakit po yung position na pagiging board member ang napili ninyong takbuhan this election? Well, uh, in the first place, uh, you know, I have been the barangay captain of Barangay Malindong, Binmali, Pangasinan for the past 15 years. And uh, as such a barangay captain, you know, I have already vast experiences uh, relative uh, to uh, the uh, sentiments, uh, feelings of uh, my uh, barangay mates as well as uh, the uh, problems that is being encountered uh, by uh, every citizen in our barangay. Yes. So, uh, It is uh, my uh, uh, feeling to become a board member mm-hmm. so as to help uh, my constituents uh, mm-hmm. in the solving uh, these uh, problems I have in mind uh, by way of uh, uh, passing uh, resolutions, yes. ordinance or laws uh, in the Sangguniang Pandalawigan. Uh, sir, don't you think that this is a very big jump from being a barangay captain? Parang Uh, do you consider it a very big responsibility? I consider it as a big responsibility. But uh, this is uh, not a big jump as what you say from the barangay captain to uh, the provincial board because you know uh, anyone can be a, a candidate as uh, long as uh, he has uh, the willingness uh, and capability to serve by way of knowing the uh, problems and the sentiments of every barangay as well as the public uh, in general wherein he will serve as uh, a board member yes. particularly in his own district yes uh, sir as the barangay captain of malindong ano po sa tingin niyo yung greatest achievement ninyo well as far as i'm concerned uh, in my barangay uh, first and foremost uh, is uh, peace and order you know uh, When uh, I first uh, became a barangay captain uh, in the year 1982, uh, you know, uh, peace and order is one of uh, the serious uh, problems uh, I have uh, resolved because, you know, peace and order is uh, uh, the uh, pathway to uh, Uh, responsible development uh, as well as uh, stability and uh, the great success of every barangay. Um, sir, please tell us some more about your platform. Well, uh, in my own, uh, you know, uh, with my past experiences as uh, 15 years barangay captain, first and foremost uh, are the sentiments uh, of my uh, uh, co-barangay officials. In the first place, you know, my barangay officials are suffering from uh, this kind of bronarium as well as uh, uh, benefits uh, uh, from uh, the government like uh, the health problems, the field health programs in terms of uh, education of their children and uh, others to be considered like uh, honorarium of uh, the barangay officials uh, and uh, all the barangay tanots and the BHWs. Uh, sir, uh, 15 years is a very long time, ano, na pagiging uh, barangay captain. Sa susunod na, uh, yung susunod sa inyo na barangay captain, ano yung ina-expect ninyo na uh, gagawin niya para sa barangay Malindong? Well, uh, if uh, the person to succeed me in my position as barangay captain, my advice uh, to him is uh, really to maintain peace and order. You know, uh, the other problems like in the field of uh, health and 
education that can always uh, be resolved through the in initiative of uh, the barangay captain by way of uh, doing everything he can to provide all these uh, means of uh, uh, benefits or privileges uh, in terms of health, education, agriculture, trade and this industry, especially so that Barangay Malindong, you know, is uh, a furniture uh, making uh, industry because uh, as you go or visit our uh, Barangay, there are a lot of uh, furniture shops uh, where you can buy first class of quality furniture, dinings like dining sets, uh, sala sets, chairs, tables, uh, which are made uh, of uh, Nara and sometimes yes. uh, Melina. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, let's try it a bit. Because the poor exam passing rate was lowered from 75% to 70%. As a lawyer, what do you comment here? Well, that was uh, really very, very low because uh, mm -hmm. when I passed uh, the bar exams in the year 1981, the, the uh, rating uh, was uh, around 18%. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this year's exam, because of the multiple choice problems, yes. uh, it has been a new uh, uh, type of examination that uh, the new graduates had uh, undergone. So. Uh, maybe uh, uh, the uh, professors uh, in the different uh, universities have not yet uh, uh, inculcated in the minds uh, of uh, the examinees in the uh, uh, college days or uh, well, in their preparation in the Bachelor of Laws. Uh, this has not been inculcated in the minds of uh, the students uh, only to uh, find out uh, for these students that uh, the uh, Actual uh, examination is a multiple uh, uh, choice uh, question mm -hmm. and I believe uh, that uh, some of uh, these uh, students of law are not yet uh, very much uh, prepared uh, mm -hmm. compared to the U.S. Uh, you know in the U.S. Uh, they have been uh, taking the bar examinations by way of uh, multiple choice yes. questions but uh, maybe the uh, passing percentage uh, will go up as long as uh, the uh, uh, professors in the different law universities or colleges uh, will uh, uh, practice uh, these students or undergo this type of examination during uh, the uh, low college days. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, sir. Uh, what for you is the biggest problem that we have here in Pangasinan? At ano po yung uh, plano ninyo na gawin para ma-solusyonan itong problema ito? So, ang inyong kasagutan sa pagbabalik ng agenda. We're back on agenda. So, ang ang hanging question nga natin kanina, what's the biggest problem we have here in the province? At uh, paano ito sa solusyonan? Attorney? Well, uh, in my own uh, opinion, the, you know, uh, there is uh, a need uh, to assess uh, the peace and order situation in our uh, province uh, because uh, uh, Everybody knows that uh, there are a lot of uh, unsolved killings mm -hmm. and that uh, I believe that uh, the provincial uh, director newly installed uh, has the capability to resolve uh, such problems which has not been resolved before. As a matter of fact, you know, uh, with this uh, kind of problem, you see, it is uh, really affecting our, uh, our uh, 
uh, province uh, in terms of uh, uh, tourism uh, industry, in terms of uh, the implementation of other projects, uh, because one of uh, the uh, number one uh, source of uh, the progress of a certain province or a certain community or a certain town is actually peace and order. Yes. So it's all about peace and order talaga, sir. No? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, when you get elected as board member, sir, what will be uh, your priority bills? Well, in my own, you know, in terms of uh, priority bills that you're talking about, uh, I could speak of uh, uh, some uh, provincial laws, ordinances, or resolutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a lot of uh, provincial laws, resolutions, ordinances that have to be re-studied or revisited mm -hmm. or uh, careful, uh, carefully scrutinized. Uh, because uh, as I have uh, uh, turned on some uh, uh, pages uh, of uh, the uh, ordinances uh, or read some ordinances or resolutions or laws, we have a lot. But uh, the problem is uh, there is really lack of implementation of these laws. Yes. And uh, there is uh, a need uh, to uh, uh, implement these laws, mm -hmm. which uh, I could say, if they are not being violated, they are not uh, being implemented. So in order to uh, uh, make a careful scrutiny of all these mm -hmm. uh, laws, uh, give me the chance to become a board member. Yes. As, and as a lawyer, give me the chance to study these laws and how to implement them. And if there is a need to reassess or uh, modify or, uh, or alter or repeal these uh, laws in order to suit uh, with the changing uh, times of our society, we have to do so because uh, some of our laws are uh, not being implemented instead violated. Uh, attorney, hot topic ngayon ang uh, pagpapakamatay ng isang estudyante ng UP Manila. Uh, this is a national issue but uh, of course, everyone is concerned. Diba? Kasi education na ito eh. Education ang pinag-uusapan. Uh, nagpakamatay siya dahil sa hindi siya makapagbayad ng tuition fee. So, sa tingin po ba ninyo, sir, may uh, uh, dapat bang sisihin ang uh, UP? Well, in the first place, uh, we have to consider that uh, not only as a national issue, we have to include that as a local issue, yes. where we have to resolve uh, this uh, problem in such a way that the same will not happen in our own province mm -hmm. or in our own locality. Yes. Because, so, you know, this has been the problem mm -hmm. of uh, some poor but uh, privileged or uh, intelligent uh, students uh, who don't have to, the means uh, to pay their uh, tuition fees. Uh, mm -hmm. All I could say is that uh, there is uh, a need to reassess also our educational programs uh, for the poor. And the UP has also, re has also, also to reassess uh, its uh, own programs uh, as regards uh, the uh, uh, studies of uh, uh, poor but deserving students like uh, that one who committed suicide mm -hmm. uh, which uh, I believe uh, that uh, he, he has uh, the capability to pursue with the course and uh, might even be one of uh, the leaders of our country someday. Mm -hmm. Okay sir, so attorney uh, at this point let us welcome the uh, questions coming from uh, bloggers here in Pangasinan. So we have bloggers in uh, the province who sent in their questions for you attorney. So let's have the first question from Kent Cabrera. Ang question niya, ano ang edge ninyo sa ibang kandidato sa pagka board member? Well, uh, as of now, the campaign period uh, has not yet started. But uh, all I could say is that uh, I have uh, been working hard uh, uh, not only uh, these days uh, but during the past uh, few months uh, because uh, of my willingness uh, to serve my constituents in the 2nd District of Pangasinan. Mm -hmm. uh, next question from Richard and Cecil. What do you think is the biggest challenge that you will face uh, in the coming elections? 
Well, uh, when we speak about challenges, uh, uh, for me, everything is a challenge. My, uh, my opponents or uh, any of a uh, candidate, because uh, what the, every candidate has in mind is uh, how to win the election. And uh, winning the election is already a big challenge on my part. Yes, okay. Uh, from Irene Grabulan, kung pag-uusapan ang malinis na serbisyo publiko, how would you rate yourself? Uh, we have, uh, from 1 to 10, please rate yourself, sir. 10 being the highest and 1 the lowest when it comes to a public service. Well, uh, as has been tested uh, in the, my uh, uh, service, public service, as a, a barangay captain, I could rate myself as uh, being a lawyer as a uh, uh, number nine or number ten because you know uh, I will not be elected uh, to that uh, position for 15 years in service already and I have not uh, been uh, employed in any governmental entity or institution but only as a uh, barang barangay captain and uh, with my true sincere honest and dedicated service that is the very reason why I served my barangay already for 15 years and uh, with the trust and confidence in me I believe uh, that my rating is 9 to 10 percent okay uh, okay naghanda kami ng mga item here sir uh, these are nouns so as I mentioned each item please tell me the first word that comes to your mind okay so uh, isang item lang uh, uh, we have nine items here, okay? And then the first word, the very first word that comes to your mind, as I mentioned each item. So the first one is Binmali. Binmali is great. It is a place where I was born, but it has to be made great and great uh -huh. and great. Second district of Pangasinan. Well, the second district of Pangasinan, uh, there is a need uh, to uh, improve uh, the uh, lifestyle and uh, the uh, uh, all the public services needed uh, in the, the second uh, district. Mm -hmm. But still, I could say that the second district is uh, more prosperous as now. Uh, Nani Braganza? Well, uh, Nani Braganza, uh, I could say, will be considered as a great leader someday mm -hmm. if given the chance to serve the province of uh, Pangasinan being a uh, true and uh, an uh, person I should say. Governor Amado Espino. Governor Amado Espino is uh, also a great uh, leader having uh, made uh, Pangasinan uh, landed in one of uh, the uh, uh, most uh, uh, progressive uh, province uh, in the entire Philippines. Okay. Uh, the province of Pangasinan. And uh, the uh, province of Pangasinan is uh, uh, also uh, a, uh, a place uh, served uh, by uh, our governor to uh, be uh, progressive, but uh, needs uh, a lot of improvement in terms of peace and order uh, in order to make it more greater. Okay, waiting. Well, wedding is still prog progressing. I don't know the reason why our uh, officials could not, could not resolve uh, the sad uh, uh, problem of wedding, despite the fact that uh, uh, our uh, former president has been jailed and so many people have been prosecuted, but uh, only in the end that way they will be uh, vindicated. So there is a need to uh, improve, if not implement, uh, our uh, laws on the gambling, not only on the, the uh, lower echelons of uh, the public, but those who are maintaining this kind of gambling. Political dynasty. Well, in terms of political uh, dynasty, it always depends on the, the capability of the person to serve. 
Pro Ulsi. I don't believe that it will uh, depend on what kind of family, but it will always depend on the, the per very person himself. If he has the capability to uh, serve the people in general. Okay. Uh, next item, Raul Season. Raul Season is my uh, uh, compadre. I don't like uh, to uh, make uh, any comments, good or bad, uh, because you know uh, they might say something that in times of politics uh, I, they might say that uh, I am uh, destroying their. Uh, uh, their uh, integrity, or I, uh, they, I might be watching for their capability. All I just can say is uh, uh, just uh, keep silent because I am also a candidate. Okay. We can ask that uh, from our voters. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Nicky Boy Reyes. Just the same with my uh, comment with my compadre Raul. Okay, okay sir. Ah, attorney, alam natin na ang father ninyo ang uh, isa sa mga pinaka matagal na nag-serve na mayor ng Binmalay. So, ano po sa tingin ninyo yung quality niya as a leader na namanan ninyo? Well, in the first place, I, I could say that uh, uh, politics is already embedded in our blood. Which means to say that uh, when we speak of uh, politics, uh, it is the will to serve. It is uh, the will to show to the people that uh, you uh, wanted uh, to uh, uh, make uh, plans uh, for them, for the success uh, not only of their own, but also for uh, the benefit uh, of our town. Because uh, the improvement of uh, the lives of our people will be an improvement of our town, municipality, or province. Hmm. Okay, sir. So, uh, attorney, I am a voter. Uh, please tell me why I should vote for you. Well, uh, the only way how uh, I can encourage you to vote for me is uh, with uh, is through the explanation of my good. Uh, sincere and honest uh, platform of government. Like what you are asking me now, I have already laid uh, my uh, uh, program of uh, government, uh, my intentions uh, of uh, serving the people and what to do if we, if elected as a provincial board member and as an intelligent voter, well, I could say that you will vote for me. Okay, maraming maraming salamat sir for uh, your insights uh, this afternoon and uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpunta niyo sa agenda dito sa Mugshots and uh, your final message sir sa mga butante this coming election. Para po sa mga constituents ko sa 2nd District, eh, narinig niyo po ako kung sino si Abogado Arsenio Ambalos Merera. Naalaman niyo po, narinig niyo ang mga program of government ko. Well, uh, I believe, sasabihin ko po sa inyo, I believe that I could be the uh, uh, most uh, viable uh, candidate for you to uh, uh, vote for me in the, the forthcoming elections. Never mind if I am saying vote for me because there is no premature campaigning. Okay, thank you very much to everybody. Maraming salamat po sa mga second district uh, constituents. Uh, ako po si Abogado Arsenio Abalos Mirera, board member 2013. Okay, thank you very much sir. Ayan nga mga kaibigan ang uh, nakasama ko this afternoon, attorney Arsenio Mirera, na tumatakbo for uh, board member ng second district ng Pangasinan. So mga kaibigan, sa susunod na edisyon uh, ng agenda, samahan niyo akong kilatisan muli ang uh, platforma at uh, mga kandidat dato sa darating na halalan. At uh, pasalamatan natin si uh, Ginang Rose Ang ng uh, Mugshots Sports Bar dito sa Kalasyao. Thank, thank you very much for accommodating agenda. And uh, mga kaibigan, samahan niyo ako muli next uh, edition of Agenda.